A Vatican group has launched a special collection to aid survivors of the earthquake in Turkey and Syria. Responding to Pope Francis's call for solidarity with the people of the two countries, the Pontifical Mission Societies are mobilizing their networks of missionary priests and religious sisters to provide immediate relief to survivors. More than 41,000 people were killed in the quakes. Joining us now is Father Adrian Loza, National Director of Pontifical Mission Societies in Turkey. Father, great to be with you today. Can you tell us more about the current situation in the country right now? Well, as maybe as you have heard and saw in the news, the situation is very terrible, especially in the south of Turkey, um, especially the cities of Iskender and Antakya. Uh, where the earthquake has, um, I, don't, I don't know, affected the area the most. And some other uh, areas also, just uh, maybe I'm talking about these cities because it's the cities where we have churches there. But uh, cities like Gaziantep and some other cities, the situation is also terrible. So um, the situation is very bad, very bad. As we know, Pope Francis has already launched several appeals uh, in order to help the people in Turkey and Syria. Can you talk to us about how you're working on this fundraising and also um, what you're doing to help coordinate the aid? Hmm. Well, um, I would like to the people to know that there are two uh, fundraising running right now. One is organized by Caritas, uh, the, national, the International Caritas and Caritas Turkey to provide uh, immediate help with people. I have to say that Caritas mobilized immediately after the earthquake, coordinating a, a team, especially uh, an internal team, Caritas Turkey and Caritas, uh, 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 the diocese and Caritas in, in the uh, Latin diocese. So I have to say that. So Caritas has been providing as far as possible um, the, the need, the, the help they could do. So they were sending um, um, help to the to the places, especially to the Christians, but not just the Christians, but especially them. Um, and the other one is the the the, um, the fundraising organized by the Pontifical Mission Society, and this is an, an, a, a different thing. Even if the the funds will be directly to the affected areas, especially the vicariate of Anatolia, where the affected churches are located. Um, it's a different, uh, this is it's a different kind of help. It will help the church and the people, of course, but uh, not like Caritas, because uh, the, 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 the scope of the different uh, uh, fundraisings are a little different. Even though I would like to point out that um, uh, the fundraising organized by the Pontifical Mission Society will help the church directly and the people directly, especially, especially Christians. We should uh, understand uh, a little thing. Uh, for, the, for the church to operate in Turkey, we have to have a church, a physical church, a building. So the Iskenderun Cathedral, the see of the Bishop of Anatolia, has fallen down. So... Um, we will need to rebuild this building, not just because it's a building, because it's the only possibility the church have to operate. So when we, we think of this, uh, even if we are thinking of a building, we are not just thinking of a building, but the possibilities the building will give to the church. So we will distribute the funds according to the criteria established by the Conference of Catholic Bishops, of course. But uh, people have to be certain that the money will go directly to people, even also through this kind of help. Well, Father Loza, thank you so much for all that you're doing. Uh, we appreciate it. Thank you for taking the time to speak with us. And we're praying for you and everyone in Syria and yeah. Turkey right now. God bless you. Thank you. We need people in Turkey need it very much. Has been a big shock.